Another interesting marriage proposal idea includes using the form of jokes, such as you knock knock, them say who's there, and you say Mari, and they say Mari who, and you say will you marry me please? <laughs> Imagine! Here's the crack, 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 welcome back, talking shit and drinking wine, like and subscribe, here's the crack. How's it going people, welcome back to another episode of the Here's the Crack podcast. Oh my god. We've changed scenery. Oh no. We've changed scenery. Um, I'd love to say that we've got some like big studio, but we, we haven't. We can't afford a studio anymore. We're back to so basi- We're back to basics in the apartment scrounge in which Thomas owns. Mm-hmm. You'd love to see it. But anyway, if you're new here, um, be sure to like, subscribe, um, all get, that stuff. Share the podcast. Excited, like, um, like, oh yeah, because you're the epitome <laughs> of excited. Like, like, get, get excited. excited get bro. excited. Like, if you're we'll new see. here, if you like and subscribe the podcast, everyone's going to be like buying delete <laughs> really report YouTube. to youtube close the fucking tab <laughs> anyway if you're new here like the podcast subscribe share it with your family and friends all that there good stuff <laughs> we're here for positive vibes only um yeah. is that pleasing you that me to so redo. Much better, anyway though. right let's get straight into it um what's been happening it's been a while since we actually actually, uh, actually recorded a podcast uh, and a lot has changed Mm. Hasn't it? We'll get straight in. Shay, you're just back fresh off the plane from the US of A. Boys have become men. Looking like a true American. I with a neck beard and all. Yeah. You big husky boy. Well. He came in here with a cowboy hat on and a lasso. Yeah. 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 You were actually in Texas though. I was Explain saying. where you were, what you were up to. Where all did you go? Started in San Francisco. Went to Hillsburg. Did I tell you about that? No. It's Sorry. like wine country. Oh. So we wine tasting for the day. Right, super cool. How fancy? Buck fast, <laughs> buck fast. Was the wine good? Did you notice the difference? Though? I'm not a wine connoisseur, like to be oh, honest. But like. you are now. Like you've been the wine country. I all sort of tasted the same. There was wee bits of differences, like. But what wine do you drink? Anything seven up, like. Oh, no. What a spritzer? Yeah. Okay. So there, I was like getting wines and shit, and I was like, "Fuck, you know, this would go really well with a seven up, like. But I don't think that would have went down well there, like. Definitely not. That's the bit, you know, the bit when they're like swirling the glass and like, oh, taste it, shit, it's just swirling, it's just pouring. <laughs> Where was it? Where was it? We were um, in Belfast one time. Oh, oh um, it was, what do you call it? Uh, the Italian place that does all the oh, pizzas and stuff. Actually, uh, no, it wasn't, though. Uh, what do you call it? I completely. It's like right beside City Hall. Yes, we were in a place. and uh, Google it there. Yeah, I'm going to Google it. Um, the chubby cherub. The chubby cherub. Was I there? Right? Yeah. Oh, I was there. Yes. Yeah. Because the I guy, win. the guy came over with wine, and I specifically remember uh, Thomas. We were pure debating as to what to get, and then he came over, I think, to you, yeah. and like went like and unplugged it, and mm. then you were like, "Fill her up, lad," and he put like a little splash in it, and then he just looked at you, and you were like, <laughs> "Not all you're fucking what? giving me. Not all you're giving me. What do you want to do this?" <laughs> Do you remember that? Yeah, I don't think it was me. You know, I think it might have been one of you. So. But I, I remember asking them, I was like, like if I if I said I didn't like this, what would happen? And they're like, would take the bottle back and like check if it was all right. No, nice. and just give you a different bottle or something. Yeah. Can you stop? Fuck you. <laughs> um, but yeah. Anyway, you were in wine country, and where else did you go? You were in a few places. Like you done. What was <sighs> what was Vegas like? Hey, it was mad. What Vegas was like. Oh. What did I do? Four days in Vegas. Was yeah. it four days? It's four days, three nights. I think. Fuck. Yeah. It was enough though, like I wouldn't have done any more. Would you um, go back? I'll go back, like, but I wouldn't go for any longer of a period. Is it a couple of place though? That's because I've, yeah. I've heard people go before and they're like, Oh, it'd be so much better with like a group of people though. Yeah, I know. There was like fucking five proposals whenever we were there. Where? People just in front of us getting proposal. Like where though? Like whereabouts though? Like one on, on the casino floor. <laughs> <laughs> we went to the gondolas. There's like a hotel. I think it's called a Venetian. Right. So like there's a river runs through it. Um, through the hotel. It's not like a river. No it's way. just like water. It's more like a pool. But it's like goes like the whole way through the hotel. And you get like a gondola down the, down the river. Oh, it's a gondola. You know, one of them we, like, fucking, you know one of them we oh boat, no, she sat on. Ven- Venice, so a row. boat, like. Yes, yeah, like a wee boat and like they... To the row, you know? The row, yeah. Oh, it's so like real romantic. romantic and all. We were waiting, you know, on ours and then like there was... It was sets of two, so it was like two and two on each. 
But you could have paid to get like a full one yourself. You weren't on one with someone he proposed, were you? No, 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 thank <laughs> God. <laughs> but um, this boat just pulled in right at the end and your boy just whipped it out. I wasn't even looking like Yeah. And he just whipped it out. And then um, the next thing she was like crying and saying, yeah, and all. And like everyone was running up, clapping and like taking photos and shit. Yeah. And like it was awkward because they didn't even pay for the full boat themselves. So like there was just a random couple just sitting there with them. Like, no, oh, I don't what is tight, boss? I know. You think you're getting engaged? Oh, it was there. Like it was, I think it was like forty quid each. Like. So like the whole boat would have been like one sixty. So you have to buy all four seats. Oh right. Okay. And then it was like eighty. So it's like eighty per couple. Yeah, right, okay. but still, like you would have fucked out eighty quid, like just to get the boat oh, to yourself. Oh no, like, like fuck me. It was so miserable. Like. So tight. Like, so oh, so awkward. Like whenever they were getting off and all, like, they were like kissing and everything. oh yeah, pure smooching <laughs> in the corner <laughs> i just dive off the boat I don't know. and then they went to the vegas thing you know the welcome to las vegas yeah i can't believe he's shoot off oh, the that. Hey? That's it such was a like mess. 30 degree heat standing in this fucking queue behind like 30 people waiting just for a photo like. was it worth it or? i don't think so though why well like moved fast enough like but the fuck it was so warm it was so so hot like if we were there any longer like i would have been roasted alive like. But mm -hmm. we were queuing there and then like there was this guy taking photos and stuff. So then there's like this couple, two couples went up together and they were getting a photo of all four of them. Then the next thing, um, he was like, oh, so two and two now, like each couple get a photo together. So then the first ones went and then they went away and then the next couple came up. And the next thing he bite gets down on one knee there. In front of everyone, then the whole, the whole crowd no, starts clapping no. and all that. Yeah. Do you think people do that so they can get it on video? What do you mean, like? Like, cause like they were getting a photo, and it was like, there's not like someone else is obviously taking the photo. Like he can easily be like, you video this. Oh, probably. Do you know what I mean? Like, cause yeah. I feel like that's such a big thing now is like getting proposals yeah. on camera. Like. So, ex so, but you went to San Francisco first, and then you mm. went to Las Vegas, and then you went to Texas. Yeah. So it was just three places. Yeah. What would be so if if someone listened to this right now was to go off oh, flip that sounds like good crack. What would your like one like what would your advice be to someone who's like thinking of going? I think we're at that age now. A lot of people are where they're like, I'm just gonna go traveling around America. Like, yeah, like they're it's all, made me want to go, but yeah. I'm intrigued to find out what the kind of the Shay Colin do's and don'ts is. I think it's it really depends on the type of person you are. Like, yeah, because each place was completely different. Like, like right. California, it was like such a laid back vibe. Yeah, everyone's just so sort of like laid back there, like around the streets and stuff. Whereas Vegas is just party central. Like we weren't doing much partying whenever we were there, but like it's sort of full of like old people. Like they're all around the casinos and stuff. Yeah, and then like out in the streets, there's like young ones partying and all. It's absolutely mad. Like. Um, but then Texas obviously is a bit more country vibe. Like. Yeah. But not not Dallas itself, the city. I was expecting to go around and see like loads of cowboys and shit. Like, yeah, but it boys wasn't like riding in horses. <laughs> yeah, it was similar to walking you, up like the Belfast. You expected the guys like, coming up and being like, "Howdy, partner!" <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Where like, have you blown in from? Yeah. Like, but then we were like, "Arma!" <laughs> we went out to the state fair, and it was more like that. Yeah. So there was people walking about in cowboy hats and shit, and then seeing actual cowboys. Unreal. Like doing rodeo. Did, what about like the gun situation? Did they have like guns strapped to them? See, I didn't see any. But <laughs> did you we, not go to a gun range or nothing? No. Oh, no. Crazy. I'm afraid of guns. Why? I, I think if they kill you. I think if I went to Vegas, I'd want to be going to a gun range. I'd just fucking <laughs> nah, shoot the place up. <laughs> but oh, and into like the this. guy's like, the guy's like, come into this room and I'll show you. Thomas is like, I play Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> I we played Fortnite and he's throwing up walls and all we went into this shop and it had like some touristy gifts and one of the there was like a fridge magnet and it said on it we don't call 911 we settle matters ourselves here oh in my Texas God. oh and my word like, Jesus Christ oh no <laughs> yeah so they're very proud about their gun shoot oh yeah when I was in Vegas too um, me and Ephraim were walking back from like a night out I think it was like 12 o'clock at night and then there was this magician guy and he was all like doing this trick on the side of the street so like there's loads of young guys like gathered around they must have been from a football team or something like there's so many kids in vegas really i could not believe there's so many kids in vegas but anyway they're all like gathered around this street magician and he's all like man this is my last trick of the night and uh he pulled he was like anybody got some like big bills like so like hundred dollar notes and stuff he's like pull them out write your name on it so he was like doing all the fucking magician -y shit you know building up to it and then he pulls out a kiwi and 
everyone's like, what the fuck are you doing with Kiwi? Like? <laughs> and then he gives this Kiwi to one of the kids. He's like, hold up for a second. And then um, he's like doing all his magic shit. And he goes, right, give me that. And then he goes, he turns around to the crowd and goes, anybody got anything I can cut this open with? This girl turns around and goes like, oh, hold up, I got something. <laughs> and she whips out a fucking knife. I mean, like, you know, one of the flick knives. Oh, yeah. It was literally like fucking that size. <laughs> Just out of her pocket, like she was carrying this round. Oh my god! On the street, and he was like, "Yo, no, man, put that away. You, get, <laughs> <laughs> you can't be bringing shit like that out, man." <laughs> what did they expect? Though, like, like us for someone for a knife? Like? It's fucking scary, like. Was it? But, what, why was she carrying that around though? Like? Self protection. Oh Jesus! Self protection. Does it make you realize? Is it scary? <laughs> is it scary though? Like seeing stuff like that and realizing like ah, there's probably so many people yeah. walking around with guns as well. Like. Yeah, it was fucking weird. Like, Look at you, imagine know, getting in a fight with and I'm just whipping I know, out a gun or some shit. I know though. we've talked. I know we've talked about this before in another episode. But even that time we were in Manchester and the guy said to you, "You see that boy there? He's carrying a knife." Yeah. Like the three of us were like what like yeah. that's not right like, uh, like we don't see that from over like we think but we didn't even know he may not have had a knife she just fucking whipped yeah. it out and yeah. brought it yeah. <laughs> I feel was like, not ashamed yeah. of it I feel like we live with such a shelter like yeah. over here we don't realise like, how dangerous places can be mm-hmm. like. You see, but you, that, 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 that's the thing though you only see the bad stuff from over there like you only see on the news the bad stuff in America like I yeah. immediately say to my mum and dad Shay's in Texas and ta- and like my dad's like oh he better watch out he doesn't get shot or anything yeah and you're like but then you turn around and you see like i forget where it was like lurgan or lisburn or something on the news of the like pile of like young ones petrol bomb in the police vans and you're like if that's all they're seeing they're probably like they're probably saying oh you know flipping two americans are over in northern ireland oh you better watch you don't get petrol bombed yeah. or something like that you know what I mean what like, news, you only see the good you only see the bad you don't yeah. see in the engagements so on gondolas I didn't even, I didn't even see it I gone in Texas mm. I was surprised because it's like a free holster state so you can walk about within your pocket Seriously? legally yeah, yeah. that's mental so they're um, real proud about their guns over there but I never even seen one person with one maybe it wasn't looking maybe they have to yeah. conceal it like or something did you but, feel safe yeah well the city was a bit sketchy like there's a lot of homeless people about like yeah like this crazy. Is everywhere just Vegas huh? everywhere well like Vegas wasn't too bad there was a lot of them that were like sort of scattered around it seemed like a territorial thing in Vegas it was like there was only one every like couple of blocks you know yeah, yeah. Um, but in Texas there was like groups of them like we pulled up to our hotel and there must have been about 10 of them all standing outside and we were like what the fuck have we booked like yeah and we went in the um, hotel looked sick yeah it was dead on but we went in and we were like checking in and stuff and then the security guard came in like two minutes after us and then you kept the woman at the table was like where the hell were you like i was calling you like there's loads of people outside and he was like oh, i have it sorted now so obviously like if the security's there they don't come near like but it was fucking so sketchy whenever we walked in like and then we were walking home one night at like 12 o'clock and the next thing there was all this like raving and shit we're like, what the fuck's going on here? Raven. Turn, raven. Like, R- engines raven. Oh, raven. Oh, raven. Yeah. Turned around. <laughs> I was like, what? The homeless are having a party. Turned around, and there was like 150 to 200 quads coming down the road. And fuck motorbikes. Off, all man. wheeling down the street. No. No way. Nuts. And, like, cars were, like, pulling over to the side to let them through, like, like just and they're all like wearing masks and shit. Like, have you ever seen them on YouTube? Yeah. Is that, like, what you'd see in, like, the purge? Yeah, look like yeah, like they were wearing yeah. their masks and all, oh, and like the bandanas like halfway days, up their faces and shit. And they're like coming down the street in quads, wheeling and stuff, and oh, it was kind of it was kind of scary. Like. So, like, what would be the main differences that you would notice, like from being over, like you probably spent more time in California than you did anywhere else? What yeah. would be like the main differences? Like, if someone was to say to you, "Uh, what really struck you whenever you left, whenever you came there, what would have been <laughs> the first thing I well, first and second thing I noticed." You see, whenever you land in an airport in America, yeah, there's no, um, you know, the way in Dublin airport, there's like a division. So whenever you, there's no division between arrivals and departures. Yeah. So whenever you get off your plane in America, you'll You're, be greeted by people waiting on to get onto that plane. Oh, right. I was just so busy. I thought it was so weird. No, but yeah. you know, if you go to Dublin airport, yeah. getting, you yeah. never meet the people going yeah. to get on the plane again. Yeah. You're almost going right. If you're arriving, yeah. you're almost going around the outskirts. Like, yeah, you like, can yeah, bypass them, yeah. but like in whenever in our, all the American airports, it was just like 
you walked in, those people waiting to on that plane. That's really it's more like a bus. That's really creepy because um I noticed the same thing in Southampton Airport. It's just like one one terminal. Mm. So like like my plane landed it was like an eastern airways flight it landed people got off and then i was getting on it and they were refueling yeah. it and i was like what do you, do you want me to tell me you've got me a new plane yeah <laughs> that's <laughs> just the same basic plane but that to me that's the way it should be yeah. yeah it made more it made so at the start i was like what the fuck like this seems so insecure or something yeah. like but yeah then the more you done i was like this makes so much more sense there's no fucking queues in security yeah and you're just straight through i mean like it's you yeah. get there you make queue for like two seconds but you're straight through it like it's so much quicker um the other thing i noticed i went to the toilet when i got off the plane the toilets are so different they're like the bowls are like filled halfway up with water what do you mean and halfway up with water like you know the way if you go to the toilet here it's like the bottom of it's just water like up and past like, the little like it's actually yeah in the bowl. just a wee bend it's halfway up the bowl and not splash out at you see that's what i was thinking i was like ah, all this American isn't this isn't gonna be good <laughs> but <laughs> Like, oh no i, I, I want to go home <laughs> like this, how am i gonna Mommy. do this? how am i gonna do this <laughs> it's two, just two weeks weeks like, on but like, it, well, like in all seriousness you know, if you were sat down taking a dump like, no you'd think that see my first <laughs> my first thought was, was testing the theory. my ass is gonna get soaked here <laughs> but went for a dong plop right sat down and because there's less of a distance between the water and your arse oh, it just slides in it just slides in <laughs> there's no plop it's a perfect tom daly dive <laughs> it's great oh like God. and then oh. another benefit is less skid marks oh yeah because it cleans the toilet as it goes down plus it's not like hitting off banging off the side <laughs> like i love it's just floating in the water i love how you've went to the america and this is the things you've noticed though. it was yeah. i haven't even left the amazing. airport yet like and the flush different in every um every place i was in so in like san francisco just goes the whole thing just goes down oh yeah and then in like texas it like swirled around and all it was like texas tornado poo <laughs> texas tornado <laughs> it really. each, each state has their signature floss flush right? yeah um what about the food and all man portion sizes are fucking huge Ridiculous. everything is bigger in america literally um like whenever we're at home we'd usually like order three or four things and like split them yeah but over there i mean one portion nearly would have done two years though yeah oh, we were leaving so much food yeah and they do doggy bags so like obviously you know the portions are so big like they're like you want to take some of this home now? i would love to know the difference in terms of like so you know that that day we were in dublin and shay were and Aoife ordered a pile of starters like yeah. compare it to that because that was huge that was a tray That's, of food that tray of food is like a main course there it's ridiculous you would not believe how big the food is it's so huge did you go to mcdonald's or anything i went to like every fast food restaurant and what are the portions like are there are we because apparently more, mcdonald's is like there are we bit ridiculously smaller. bigger or not? i don't know i would never went to mcdonald's um i went to every like american one that you couldn't get at home what's the best food did you go to in and out oh yeah what's it like to do these animal fries it's like fucking fries with like mince cheese and like this sauce on it oh what's so the best good. what's the best american takeaway then <sighs> best american takeaway you want though i don't know give it's us hard to give us your top three you know white castle was fucking awesome what are they really doing? unexpected like they do these really like slider burgers right so they're like about that size and they come in like packs of four so you order like four of them yeah so they're like we tiny burgers but they're so fucking good they're like pickles and cheese on them right they're on rail now and they do like crinkle cut chips which are mint too in and out was class as well with the would it be fries. probably in top. your top three yeah wait and then, what did you get the there? animal fries are fucking what about the burgers one? you're the burgers very good fr- too, you're a classic irish man all about the potatoes one. the <sighs> fries <laughs> you don't get potatoes i got at home and what so in and out white castle what did like I'll tell you one. Did you was, get any bur- like, did you get any burgers and think this is fucking way above the standard? I home? thought the White, White Castle one was way above the standard. Like. The it, beef was so fucking good. Yeah. Um, but do you know what I was so disappointed in? What? Chick fil A. Why? It was shit. It shit. was terrible. Like they they're dumb like they do like skinless is nuggets. Is that a big thing over there? Like skinless nuggets sounds yeah. hard. Is that not just chicken? Man? Yeah. It's not just like <laughs> just pieces skinless of chicken, nuggets, like. nuggets like. It's just pieces of chicken. It's, like, it's calling a chicken breast like a fucking featherless chicken. Man. Yeah. I'm trying to think what other ones I went to. So you've said In and Out White Castle. What's another one? 
Oh, Give fuck. us your top three. You don't even need I actually, home. whenever I was there, Aoife took a photo of me outside, like every, re- like every fast food <laughs> restaurant. Should have made a TikTok or something. <laughs> I know, should have actually. But what do you call that? Popeye's chicken. Unreal. Unbelievable. It's probably the best one I went to. Like. Why? It was so good. What did you get? Like, are you chicken. talking wings or like nuggets or like what? Got a pile of stuff. Got like, like fillets. Huh? They're like chicken tenders, but they're like so much batter on them. Like they're so crispy. And then like, they're like spicy through the chicken. It's not just the batter that's spicy. Yeah. Unreal. Um, and they done like mac and cheese. It was so good as well. Like. Everyone does mac and cheese over there. That was a good look. Yeah, it's proper fucking cheesy. Oh, unreal. So, she has top three. If you're going to America to get a wee takeaway, we've got in and out White Castle on Popeyes. Popeyes, yeah. It, top, Popeyes, probably number one. We went to Outback Statehouse as well. They do like a blooming onion. What's that? So, it's like an onion, and it's like, that's it there. It's deep fat fried. Holy fuck. It's deep fat oh fried God. onion. God. It looks like a flower range one. And have four. Yeah, it's called blooming onion. Is it unreal? Oh, so good uh, it's like real crispy onions and you dip it in the sauce look at the size of that portion though like. that's like that's a side <laughs> Fuck. That we didn't even finish that i took it home and all in a bag to the vegas hotel and never ate it like. <laughs> brought it home <laughs> <laughs> it, just brought it, home it? Giddy. it was so stinking the next day though like, <laughs> why did i bring it <laughs> went to wendy's too it was wendy's shit. Oh, it was wendy's shit. Was shit. Yeah. so what did you say we should wendy's was shit somewhere else chick-fil-a was, Chick-fil-A shit. was shit have you got another one so if you have your top three your bottom three is wendy's went to dairy queen too if you want to go to dairy i queen. don't even know what that is I don't dairy queen it's like ice cream yeah Heard it? um but it was just okay but i'm not a big ice cream fan like so that's what i expected that very well went to a lot of fancy places there too like mexicans and shit the mexican food there is fucking unreal burritos like or just tacos burritos like i tried chimichangas and all what are they they're like basically a burrito like covered in cheese sauce and all that. <laughs> it just sounds like absolute heart, heart yeah, disease. Lad, I'd be 20 stone heavier. Obesity. Oh my god. I know. Sounds good to me. Good shit. So would you go back? Definitely. Where would you go to next in America? <sighs> Probably East Coast, right? East Coast. Yeah. Um, New York and that. Yeah. I don't know if it's... Would, I don't think I'd like it as much, so... Yeah. But I, I suppose it's one of them things you just need to take yeah, off the box. Yeah, just need to go, yeah. I'd love to go to New York and Boston. Mm. Boston would be sick. We yeah. did say, if we go again, we'd love to go and stay on, like, a ranch in Texas. Yeah. And get the experience, you know, yeah. of living on a big 4,000 <laughs> yeah. acre ranch for a few days. Can you do that? Just, like, just, is yeah. it, like, proper, like, ranch? Yeah. It's like Airbnbs and stuff, like, and they actually make you do farm work, like, so you have to get up at, like, 5 o'clock in the morning. Do you watch the... Don't feed the cat. That sounds Have awful. you watched the, <laughs> have you watched the episode of the two Johnnies take on America and they go to, like, Fort Worth and, like, stay with a ranch guy and he's called, like, oh, I forget what his name is. Um, But he's a... He's an like a ranch hand. Like he, he produces wagyu beef and all, and like one of his cows is worth like a hundred k. And they're pure like getting yeah. them into the thing and like taking their temperature, like sticking th- ramming a thermometer up its ass and all. Oh my god! Like imagine that. No? Imagine you saying the uh, people oh, over there here probably do that. Let's like, you know, go. Yeah. To Texas, I've seen vets put hot their hands up, guys. Ass yeah. Up. Full arm, like yeah. To there. That's <laughs> right. Yeah. You, <laughs> you could go down. You could go down to a farm and fucking. Well, I mean, on the day, like. yeah, probably do. We're all free. free. We're, all, we're all just catching a flight over the taxes just yeah. to see cows. Eh? Um, you were away on holiday as well. Yeah, you were away in Rome. Yeah, romance flying. Was yeah. there any gondolas no. in Rome? Is there that you see? Like? No, there's not really any. Like, it's not no, it's, there's no water. Like, primarily Venice, isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah. Venice. Yeah. Yeah. Rome's just city like. Just, so where was yeah. where was the what what was in in comparison like obviously Rome like you could probably google top 10 things to do in Rome and it would give you like things that you could actually go and see was there anything you went and saw and you're like that's sick. The Colosseum was class. Like. Yeah. Rome is just beautiful. Like. <laughs> it's just beautiful. It is though. like I feel oh. like every street you walk down you're like even like the buildings and stuff like it's just unreal and like the food's class. Yeah. The food is sick. a lot of them places the same thing like we went to Italy and went to Florence and stuff and the architecture and everything like I don't really like I don't really pay attention to architecture but it's like so beautiful like the way everything is yeah and it's like the, one, the one thing I noticed is like bars isn't a big thing yeah like there's no bar, there's no real bars running or like nightclubs it was all like yeah. just restaurants but like the restaurants are open so late like. 
Yeah. Like you can go and get a meal, like a proper meal at like eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock at night. Like Fuck. the restaurants stay on so yeah. Like one of the last like the last night me and Bruno went for food and like we went for dinner, I'd say at half nine, ten o'clock and then we sat on it was like half eleven when we were leaving. Mm-hmm. there's people literally coming in getting food like on like, yeah. the proper like it's mad how, and they yeah. even like gelato was a big thing over there yeah mm-hmm. like when we were even we we like walking home we stopped and got like gelato like and like yeah. this was like half oh, laden like, what, what is gelato i don't, I don't even cream, know why it's like, it's like a form, i was saying no, ice cream like form. and okay, everyone, well. everyone was like to me oh is it not gelato over there and i was like whatever like. it's probably just like the Italian it's probably just such a slight like. difference like going ross fucking enlighten us as you read typey fingers so slow man gelato and ice cream both contain cream milk and sugar there are differences to authentic gelato uses more milk and less cream than ice cream and genuinely doesn't use egg yolks well fun fact so yeah gelato is the italian <laughs> word for ice cream la. so yeah fun fact it's <laughs> literally the same thing oh, i thought we were gonna get some philosophical like oh this is how you this is the difference though um <laughs> And then you went to a little romantic restaurant that looked out over Rome. <laughs> yeah, Rome. Oh, Rome tell us what happened there, Tommy. Got engaged. Oh! Oh. She proposed to you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thomas put a ring on a breadstick, and then was like, "Here, take that." And she was I like, oh, "What's this?" No, I'm joking. You know what? You're I found his fingers breadstick. You know what? <laughs> so, so rude. Tommy got engaged, and we are over the moon. Do you oh. want to stop touching that mic because I can hear it in the thing? Tommy got You're engaged nervous? and we're absolutely... I feel like he will be nervous it's to so talk weird. about it's this because he doesn't like talking about It's weird bringing it up because like, I feel like it's just like... It's like people... It's especially in work. Yeah. Because like, you're sort of like... You don't, you need this. It's like I don't want it to... It, it's going to be worse if you don't say it to people and then yeah. like, say a month down the line either like... Oh, I got engaged, or like it comes out, and they're like, "Wait, when did you get engaged?" And like a month ago. So, yeah. do, do, do you know you, what I mean? Like? Do you, you remember Ryan being like, "Hey, everybody, I got engaged." No, but like it was like, "I'm glad I went away." Oh, right. Because I, if I don't know how you done it, because like people were like, "Oh, how was Rome?" And I was like, "Oh, yeah, it was class. I got engaged." And I was like, "Oh my god." Yeah. Blah blah blah. blah. So, but like with you, it's like it was just a normal weekend. Like, yeah, how did you bring yeah. that up? Like? So I know so awkward, it's like. funny because I remember whenever we did the podcast where I got engaged, and I was like, "Yeah, like it's really weird to." describe and you sort of like you couldn't you could sound a bit happier yeah. i'm glad we're now in the same boat that. because it's for a man it's a very strange thing no, because you just seem generally like whenever whenever like whenever, <laughs> whenever we I, went right i actually thought that week he was going to take a back like whenever yeah. whenever we went around like yeah, show family and stuff it was always like lucinda was just like all lucinda had to do was do this Mm. and everybody was like oh my like but then whenever i <laughs> whenever i <laughs> <laughs> your family from oh my god <laughs> whenever we went into whenever i went into work it was like how do i bring this up to people you don't sound like a pretentious <laughs> douche <laughs> you're like people were like oh good weekend and i said yep and then like for us we had just been on a like a work stag for like another fella and i was like <laughs> you might have to organize another one of them and they were like why and i was like I got engaged. And then everybody, oh, pure buzz, isn't that? That's right, so <laughs> yeah. That's so <laughs> Did you keep saying that like all day? No. Did I it s- not be like, <laughs> like being repetitive? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, You're going to have to organize another the, one the, of those. The best thing you could possibly do in that scenario is just find like the, the main people in one room and just get it out there. Get mm. it out into the open and that's just yeah, it. Just imagine like, everyone like, gathering around when Ross goes to the toilet like, why does he keep saying that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't What's get Maybe you're going to the toilet crying and all. But, why um, does nobody notice me? You know what I find funny is you were telling that story about uh, the guy on the gondola and everybody yeah. pure clapping and stuff he told whenever the night he got engaged he rung me and i he was like i did it in the restaurant and he yeah. were people clapping and all and he was like no <laughs> did they not see no well they did i don't know they did it was just weird like i was sitting for you just thinking because it was like it, the tables were like spaced around so like there was like a table there one there and like one here yeah and it was like a decent it didn't feel like you were proper sitting on top of each other so it was like it's not that bad but then like people were sort of getting up and going and i was like thinking <laughs> what did they leave because you fucking proposed no but there were like people were just like having their food and then they were going on yeah like there was people there before us and then i was sort of like oh like maybe wait and hope that people leave and then <laughs> it just got it just got later in the night and i was like right i need a fucking man up here and do it like. but it was like it's so unnatural bringing up in conversation like. do you know what's yeah, that's what i was gonna ask that was the hardest what, part like. what i think everyone wants to know 
What did you say to her when you get down? Did I you get down or did you just yeah. throw it over the table? Like? Bear to me, air oh, love. I was <laughs> fucking raging. Hey. Why? We, we got to the table. I creased my new balances. <laughs> <laughs> we got to the table and like, we were sitting, it was like a square table and we were sitting and like, she sort of sat across from me. Mm. And I was, I was like, oh, this is going to be so handy. I literally just have to like get up off my seat. Do you know, like sort of like, like lean forward, if that makes sense. Typical Thomas. So like, movement. This will be so handy, maybe, because I don't have to do much. <laughs> and, then, and then she was like, oh, I want to sit beside you. And then she came and like sat right beside me here. So, oh, like, so you couldn't even I have to, like, ready. move the seat back and like proper like get down. Like. I was just such I, a pain now. Yeah, why did the question? What did you say whenever you were down there? I don't even know what I said. You're such a fucking No, liar. I honestly do. I don't. I, I know. I kept saying. A moment. He never forgets. No, I'm, I'm not joking. I kept I, saying stuff like trying to bring up a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, he laughs so hard. He farted. Oh, you're stinking! Man. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually disgusting. Uh, that shot across the fucking. <laughs> There's probably a splat mark on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Like you're saying, you're saying these things, and you know what? I completely agree because the whenever it's so funny you could go back and watch the last podcast we did whenever i got engaged mm. and you were like what did you say and i was like i don't know i, I genuinely like it's i remember happy to say it. i remember That's like five minutes say. after i said listen i was like what did i even say mm. so it's interesting what did she hear. say obviously no. i do it's like of course no i mean what did she say whenever you asked her she uh, what do you mean like, did she remember what you said no she she was just like i don't like the past couple of minutes it just flew by it's like yeah whatever give me it but like so explain in grave detail what is so it? did you get up and like push the chair out of the well, way it wasn't like, that big of a day like it wasn't like that much of an effort like it was just like it would have been so much easier the other way but yeah. then i was just like done it yeah it was so it just happened so it sounds so stupid like when you say it like because but it just happened so fast did you have anything like planned in your head that you were gonna say not really, no. Like I didn't have over? like a proper speech plan. It was just sort of like, don't know. Like, was, <laughs> Take this ring, bitch. I don't know. There was a fly there. I, I just, I didn't really have a big speech plan. I would planned where, where we were gonna go, and like yeah. that was really it. Like it's like, what do you really say? Do you know what? I, I like find, you're sitting talking to your girlfriend. It's not like you know, be like, Bruno, these have been. Because you're going to six years, Bruno. Or? These have been the most important six years of my life with you, and I want to make. And another sex. <laughs> another sex and then just dead. Did you me? marry me? No. Did you say what you marry me? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. It's so weird though. I don't get that. Should you not really say, will you engage me? <laughs> will you engage me? Will You'll you? be my wife, sure, <laughs> would you? <laughs> sure <laughs> you will. Lock it in. There's people like, if you hear about like, there ones you just didn't even propose. It's just like, oh, I'll go and get yourself a ring there. <laughs> go on ahead there. Enough. Yeah. I suppose each to their own, but at the same time, yeah. I was just so relieved when it was done. Yeah. That, the, the, I, was, I was not nervous at all. Everyone's like, are you not nervous? And I was not nervous at all until, like, it, like it, it just bringing it up in conversation is so difficult. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, you'll say things like, like, oh, like, you're, it's, I'm trying to think of, like, an example of what I was saying. Did you wait for, like, a silence or were you sort no, of No, I was, just, I was trying or? to, like, but that's what you're saying there, or did you not? I was trying to be like, oh, like, things have been so good since we've, like, we've moved into this new flat and all Aww. this air stuff and talking about all this air shit, and, like, trying to be, like, you know, and then go yeah. on. But then you'd say that and then she'd be like, yeah, things have been clapped. And, like, you know, like, she'd go on. Then, yeah, so and I, was then a, I was like, actually thinking about that. I think we should get a new washing machine. And you're yeah, like, yeah. Literally, just random shit. Cause like, yeah, just the way you leave your fucking boxers lying on the <laughs> yeah. kitchen floor. Because she's yeah. literally not expecting it. It's yeah. not like, it, I feel like people think they see the movies and they're like, there's this big romantic yeah. speech yeah. and all. It's not like that. Like. I think I, it's Especially because we're so sarcastic too. Yeah. Right? yeah. Like there, I, I am so, I am not a serious person. Right? Yeah. So I think it would be so hard to sort of switch the tone and to be in serious. I am terrible at talking about my feelings. Yeah. I'm terrible. Yeah, same, right? Like I'm terrible, and it, it might just be a man thing. Like I'm terrible at like I, the, I, I don't know how I managed to waffle my way around it. Like, but on a podcast, yeah. let's talk about your feelings. Yeah, but um, just you know, we're yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's, yeah. that's yeah. so that's so good though. Yeah. So happy. So blessed. So blessed. Yeah. So what's next? The wedding. <laughs> the wedding. Your wedding's next. And Year. The other one. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of engagements. Yeah. You have a. Oh yeah. Let's just get it up here. This is actually a really good. Th- like I just randomly found this, and I was like, "This is class." Right. So, um, 
this is sort of like Tommy's question time, but it's basically a long-winded question. So this one, this is a Reddit, but I feel like it's a good sort of, I feel like it'd be a good discussion. So this woman goes, my boyfriend and I were recently discussing how an engagement is a mutual two-way commitment, just as a marriage would be in the future. So if one were to get proposed to be, get proposed to in an inevitable future, it's kind of sweet and thoughtful if the other already had gotten a reciprocating gift or something along the lines of that. Now, usually in these cases, the girl would get the, their man a watch or something of that sort. However, my case is a bit different, and I believe I would have such difficulty getting my boyfriend a gift if he ever provo- proposed. What do you think of this? Because I think if you're going to propose, you can't really expect something in return. No? no. But, like, I feel like it's an interesting one. So does she mean, like, if he proposed to me, I have to get him something well, in return? Well, that's, from what she said here, is basically, like, they've discussed it. Um, they feel like if he's getting her like a ring and proposing that like, he should receive something in return because mm. it's a two way thing I wouldn't be expecting something back like, no. no but I just I th- found that weird because I was like I didn't it makes sense like, but like I'd say people are like that I think it might be it might, is it something that happens in like different sort of like America or something is that like the thing because I've seen like women propose to men with watches but I've never saw. I've, I've never, never heard, seen that. I've at never all. like yeah. I've seen that before, but I've never <laughs> heard of something that's like if I propose to you, then you have to buy me something. Like I find that weird. Yeah, it's like I don't know. I suppose it's the whole it's giving, sort of takes, giving without expectation away type from thing. What I feel. Like. Yeah, but then of course it gets on to the topic of like it. It's it's supposed a suggestion that a man does the proposal. I would. I feel like it would take away from it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. This is meant to be like a big gesture and it's like if she's doing something in return it's sort of like it it's wouldn't not, have the same meaning yeah it's not a competition like yeah, you know I mean? <laughs> it's not yeah. A dick measure in competition honey fucking put that thing but away. like if if say you had no intention to get engaged yourself right and mm. bruno proposed to you mm. <laughs> Would be so embarrassing. Should be a weird situation That's to so, be in. That should have been a qu- the question. Do you know what, him, how him. would you feel if you got proposed to? I seen. I think this. I think I seen a clip on TikTok. Where it was like a clip of like made in Chelsea or something before, and the girl proposed to the guy, and the guy proper was like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Was like a ring. Yeah. Or, I don't know if he had a ring, but like, I think maybe because she proper got down and like proposed to him, and he's like, "Why would you do this?" And all and like proper freaked out, and she obviously took it so bad. Yeah. And I was like fuck like i don't know how i'd react like. so i think there's a tradition yeah. of a man proposes if it's a you know if it's a boy girl relationship a man proposes to the woman yeah. i think that's just that's just the, that's just what we've grew up with it would be demasculating so i feel for me if lucinda proposed to me i'd be like how's this gonna go down with it, it sounds bad but i'd be like how's this gonna go down with other people what will the, people be the, like what are the bikes gonna hang like imagine one? me coming by and yeah. be like oh yeah i got engaged at the weekend uh we were out and listen just got down in one knee <laughs> like what you should be like you feel like people yeah like feminists would probably see this and be like you are just dickheads like he's like women can do what they want but i yeah. feel like if you're being honest you would be fucking scundered like yeah but, I, but it does make sense though, i'm like, not I mean, I would, but be. i would rather i would rather the girls say like when the fuck are you gonna propose yeah, like, yeah. i would rather that i yeah. would rather just be like we've been together fucking six seven years and you're sitting here and you haven't fucking even thought and about proposing to me i feel like it's like. i feel like it's well it's one of them engagements is just if you're in a relationship it's one of them things that just naturally come up mm. like it's it, like if you know if it's been a couple of years or even for people a couple of months like if you're say for people who are older like if you're seeing someone when you're like 27 or something or 28 or even older after a couple of months you like maybe move in together or something and you're like here things are going well have you ever thought about it or whatever like i know for us to it came up really naturally do you know what i mean do you think but then why should it be the man's choice like why should he decide sometimes sometimes it's not the man's choice though (laughs) but you know he he has to initiate the question that's more i don't feel like it's his choice i feel like it's more that he wants to do it like Mm. do you know what i mean i don't feel like it's um, i don't know sort of mm. get what you're saying society would say i know but is. like if your girl doesn't want to marry you she says no like yeah do you know like she does have a choice she's not being oh, forced yeah, she's, in that angle. 
a choice like but what if you want to and you're too afraid or something and then like sh- well then she I feel like that's to- when you need to kick up the hole huh? <laughs> mm. <laughs> but like I would rather <laughs> that like, I, I would rather Stamp that would out. you not rather that though like if that uh, was if, like if Aoife proposed to you would you care like would you be okay with it though? I don't know like. no be. you wouldn't I'm just going to answer the question I for don't, you no you it'd wouldn't it'd be a bit weird well like. let's let's let him answer the question what would you like what, like know. what if, what, I know what you would, like I'm saying if it was me I would rather but then like you start a I would relationship rather, bro, and, all, and you have it in your head that you have to be you've always thought that like and then it comes to it and then she ends up proposing so you're gonna be kind of fucked in the head you're gonna be like what's going on here but like? would that bother you though probably a bit like. I feel like it, it would be a bad reaction as well mm. but then like because like how can you like if a girl says no how can you go like can anyone ever be like Oh, that's so trampy, like. You know. What do you mean? Like, if a girl says no. But, like, yeah. there would obviously be, like, what the fuck. But then yeah. it's just, like, that's it then. But that's, it's the same as, like, a by just not asking. Oh, wh- Is her saying no? Because she wants to continue just being boyfriend and girlfriend. Mm. Mm. But wow. then at the end of the day, an engagement tr- now, an huh? engagement triggers a marriage. And a marriage is a two-way thing, though. Hey, do you know what I mean? You both get up and you both say you're say your things nah. so i suppose it comes around to a mutual thing anyway you know what's the it is what it is it is what it is, <laughs> it is, what, that's it what, is. what it is it's just I, um, vibes like it's not even rings i actually for, for anybody listening that's potentially thinking of getting like engaged or something along lines out there i actually looked up during the week because obviously like we've done it me and thomas have done it completely different ways mm. i did a home one i like a spot that's like unique and favorite to like me and lucinda Thomas done one away and like done a whole big you know sort of booked a restaurant nice restaurant all that there so like we kind of both went about it in different ways but like I feel like when you're actually the build up to it I know you obviously said to me and stuff and it was like how like what what do you do like for people who maybe don't have a favorite spot in the world or like can't maybe afford to go away or something along lines out there so I googled like sort of things that you could do for proposals and I got a couple of some weird some right. okay so one was fill a room full of photos of you and your partner so get prints of photos <laughs> of some fucking few. jeffrey Dahmer shit yeah. there, like. <laughs> so like and just pictures she, of her from like, she, she, <laughs> have you <ever> seen those <laughs> so those tiktoks are like i've been meeting or i've been seeing this girl and there's like loads of pictures of her from like behind like him hiding in a bush and all taking photos <laughs> <laughs> i think oh her knees are just getting pretty far oh no um sorry go on yeah so like a couple of ones are very like cliche like t- surprise your partner during a walk on the beach plan an outdoor picnic that's what you did yeah i didn't plan what an outdoor picnic. That? is this where you got your idea <laughs> <laughs> literally the first one go for a walk on the beach yes <laughs> propose <laughs> propose on an airplane why mm, why Fuck, be awkward, like. now, here's one organize a flash mob Oh, no that's such these are just fucking movie ones yeah, like, like yeah. just movie ones like fuck off pop the question at an aquarium why <laughs> like an aqu- get her wet <laughs> oh my god <laughs> create your own scavenger hunt or another one for tech savvy that- for a tech savvy couple create a custom website <laughs> oh no these are awful <laughs> The scavenger are, one hunt yeah. one makes it just makes it, this makes you think of Love Island when they do this cheesy thing. <laughs> yeah. Go to the uh, fire pit where we had a press cast. Yeah. Oh, oh my game. word. Like it's so some of these are so cringy. Like, and then I looked up a couple of like 30 fun marriage proposal ideas. And like some of them are quite good. Like um go for a hike. Then there's some of them it's like play hangman with your partner. Why? Well, the like, spells out. Will you marry me? That's awful, man. But like, imagine, imagine they couldn't get it. Yeah. Or the oh, that'd be so frustrating. Like died. certain <laughs> phrases. So here's another. And then you're just getting angry and angry. It's like, why the fuck are you not eating? <laughs> so like, fuck, I'll do it for you. <laughs> this guy basically she placed the ring it. in a container of Tic Tacs. Wow. So right. that there's that one. Um, that would give me the absolute fear of like. You know the ones you like Eating put it? it in like the champagne glass. Like, you'd be oh, so scared yeah. of them just dying on it. Like, just like <laughs> ring on. She's just waiting by the bowl. 
But, yeah, there's there's a couple of them. Like there's there's a few ones that are very very strange. There's one guy. Of course, all of these funny Mars proposal ideas are funny, and in, but some are quite endearing. A PowerPoint presentation proposal has <laughs> proved popular over the past oh while. Fuck me. That sounds like a you type of thing. Though. Um, <laughs> yeah, like organization, <laughs> just raw. Uh, yeah, introduction. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what? this is another one. Another interesting marriage proposal idea includes using the form of jokes, such as. You knock knock, them say who's there, and you say Mari, and they say Mari who, and you say, Will you marry me, please? <laughs> Imagine the two of you are just like sitting on a Saturday night, you just order the Domino's, and you just go, like, Tonight's the night I pop the question, la. you just look around and go, Here, knock that's, knock. That's probably <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> So, yeah. Wait, what's this list called? Best ideas? And, yeah, it's just called ideas for marriage proposals. You know, so, you know you're know, you in trouble when you actually have to Google what to do for a proposal. Yeah, but there's like, so many. Uh, and it's even worse so if you're many. listening to this. this, this yeah. It's open for advice. Like. <laughs> awful, awful. Um, Nothing else with advice. Any, um, you, what were you, you were looking up marriage proposals went wrong. Yeah. So I've these are the not to do. Here, I think we've already fucking heard them. <laughs> Oh no. Um, my ex proposed proposed as he was getting arrested. He had taken me to a spot where he was planning to propose. The spot was on private property. I did not know. In brackets, a cop came by and said he needed to run run our names to check for warrants. Unfortunately, my ex had a warrant. And when we were, were when they were putting him in cuffs, they pulled the ring out of his pocket and asked him what he was doing with it. He said I was about to propose to my girlfriend. <laughs> they let him propose in handcuffs. Then they hauled him what off to jail, <laughs> leaving me alone on the pri- this private property with no <sighs> way to get back to where I was staying. Got picked up by his stepdad. Then went to bail him out of jail. Not my finest moment. It's hard. One, that's what I was thinking is, if you're gonna propose on holidays as you done, yeah, where'd you, where'd you hide the ring? In my suitcase. Did so the we, we, we had in for our <laughs> we had this conversation it, before he left, and I goes, "What happens if you and her are standing at like, the thing thinking, and they yeah. check your bag?" And he goes, "Well, we'll just have to get engaged at the airport, <laughs> won't we?" <laughs> he just didn't even stress about it, like. Be grand. Like. Uh, what are you? So you definitely like? have to pull that out, probably. Like. Well. You'd probably have I don't to think so. I don't know. Like, see, I don't really see why, though. Because, like, th- you put jewellery through the fucking thing all the time. No, the, the only thing yeah. that I notice when I go to airports is whenever you're going through, they always say, just take all your electricals out. Yeah. And leave everything else in. A ring's not electrical. So, to me, you should be fine. Yeah. But, like, if that something like that had happened and it just fell out, like, would you just went with it? Or would you have, like, lifted it up and pretend nothing happened and done it later on? Say that again. <laughs> just fucking not even listen. What? Said if something like that had have happened, like it had have either fell out of your pocket or security pulled it out and she seen it, like would you have just went with it there and then? I was like, no, I like, would have just waited, like. Even though she knew, like. Yeah. And would you think it would be, think you just wouldn't <laughs> talk think, about it or? I think I would have just planned. <laughs> I just think I would have just done it as I was planning on doing it, like. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> she's, she's, like she's like the elephant here, in the room. Uh, like, here, about back there, I seen a ring. No, you didn't. <laughs> And then she's on the plane here. Thomas, can we talk about it? no? No, we can't. <laughs> but I don't think she'd say it. Huh? Unless she was proper. Like, what was that? Hmm. Fuck you, I don't. Well, like, what's it? It didn't happen. Like, what's the point in worrying about things that didn't happen? I feel like when it comes to your turn, you're just gonna have you're just gonna have me and him harping on, and you're. I think you'll do just it. And not it. even consult us. What do you mean? I think you'll do it and not oh, even right. say. I think one day, All like right. we, me and him were talking about this the other day, I think one day you'll just come home and we'll be like, well, what's we'll crack, lad? And you'll be like, aye. So then I got engaged, or listen, then I, if and I got engaged, Imagine and we're just like, oh my that. days. <laughs> sure, do you remember how <laughs> I told Thanos you? Do you remember how I told you? <laughs> <laughs> Four more left. <laughs> um, but no, I remember whenever you came into the room and I had compl- I was that busy trying to set the camera up for the podcast and then Thomas goes, did you tell Shay your good news? And I went, what good news? Oh, I mean, listen, I got engaged and you were like, no, you didn't. Look. Picture it didn't happen. <laughs> uh, I know, yeah, I probably wouldn't. You probably wouldn't, know. You can't, you can't spill the goss because obviously Aoife listens to this podcast, so. I know. Mm. Keep, keep. We know. He's disgusted Tight, with us. Johnny Tight Lips. <laughs> 
a couple of months after your stag do. I remember that stag do. We might have to be having another one of them. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really feel like any more of these are good. <laughs> okay. I think we'll wrap it up there because we've been recording for 50 minutes. Um, listen, if you've been listening to the podcast and you've enjoyed it, make sure and subscribe and like and share with all the peoples in your life. Um, and thank you very, very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye. Bye. bye.